What's going on guys? Welcome back to the fragrance wardrobe. Today I'm going to drop my 10 niche spring fragrance list. I know like everybody's already done it. They all did theirs like in the dead of cold like in February or January. But I like to wait until we're either right at the season or in the season to drop these seasonal list videos. So uh, no need to like rush to be first, right? So I do have 10 for you. What I did was I picked 10 fragrances I'm really excited to wear this spring as the weather continues to transition into warmer weather. And I picked 10 that not a lot of guys talk about, Not that are not going to be like on every other channel. So hopefully these are gonna be a little bit more original picks for you guys. All right, number one, everybody has talked about. So let's say nine of them, I think, are ones that not everyone's talked about. But number one's been talked to or talked about to death. Uh, everybody smelled it. Maybe everybody owns it. Maybe you don't, though. Uh, this one's going to be from Creed. I'm wearing it today. It is Green Irish Tweed. Green Irish Tweed is... A product of the 80s it came out i believe in 1985 smells just as good today as it did way back when uh your notes on this one you're going to have lemon you're going to have some sandalwood you will have you'll have a little bit of peppermint but looking at the note breakdown it's not really telling everything that i get off of my skin so what i get off of my skin is that citrus that lemon and i get this grassy type of scent like a fresh cut grass mixing with the citrus it says springtime very very well and uh this has been like on a lot of people's like gentleman fragrance list videos and i think for good reason it smells great uh yeah i mean it's timeless it's a timeless fragrance that you can pretty much wear anytime but i think spring is like the prime time to bust out green irish tweed next up is one from the house of zaharoff came out very recently and it's what I want. I think I've worn it maybe like three or four times now since I've gotten it, which is quite a bit for the amount of fragrances that I have. I absolutely love this fragrance. Wore it yesterday um, to go have all my medical crap done and just love this scent quite a bit. It is Royale X from Zaharoff. This fragrance is an x uh Parfum. So really nice oil concentration if that's what you're looking for but it doesn't leave an oily grease stain or anything like that on your skin or your clothes what i get in here the notes in this one you're going to have a citrus blend you're going to have some lavender some juniper uh, it uses i believe the royale dna and it adds a couple other things to it uh, like musk a lot of musk in this one and the i guess the vision that george had for this fragrance when he was creating it was the sense that you would get from like a freshly showered man going into having sex so that is supposed to be like a triple x kind of a scandalous fragrance and it smells incredible that's I, I get the juniper i get the cedar i get the musk it smells really really nice kind of relaxing for me and um yeah i just i don't know what it is about this fragrance it has to have like I don't know people talk about pheromones or whatever in fragrances it has to because i can't take my nose off this and i just love to wear it, it smells really really good um yeah try it if you can before you buy it i think these might be limited so they're i think they're still on sale though but i do think it's going to be a limited run number three on the list is going to come from the house of carter barcelona that is a spanish uh, niche fragrance house uh, spanish as in spain in europe uh, this one is one that i absolutely love i think it's a beautiful fragrance uh wore it a couple days ago i think and it is going to be big man from carter barcelona big man uses citrus it has fig and fig leaf and you get some tonka bean in here so what i get i do get like that citrus mixing with the fig sometimes i feel like i'm picking up the fruit of the fig sometimes the fig leaf sometimes both of them combined mixing with that citrus and at the base like at the bottom supporting all that i do get kind of this little bit of a touch of sweet uh tonka bean going on in there it smells in freaking incredible if you haven't smelled it get a sample yeah it's definitely worth uh sampling out if you love big 
I don't recommend blind buying any of these. I definitely recommend sampling before you buy. But if you really love fig, I think it might be a safe blind buy. Um, maybe. But if you can, sample it before. It smells incredible. Love Fig Man quite a bit. The longevity on it is pretty decent. I got all day out of it. Um, yeah, it, it's just a phenomenal scent. Number four on this list is going to come from a house that doesn't get a whole lot of talk. Uh, it gets a little bit here and there. It's going to be from Eight and Bob, not the original Eight and Bob, which I absolutely love. But this one's going to be Cap D'Antibes and the Blue Bottle. The Blue Bottle is going to make you think aquatic, but you'd be wrong about that. It's not an aquatic fragrance. It's really much more of a green style scent. You get birch in here, you get green notes, you get mint, you get cedar. That's what I get. I get a bunch of green type of notes. I get that mint mixing with, I don't know, some sort of greenery going on. And you do get cedar, especially in the dry down, get like dry woodiness from it. And it smells really good. It does last all day. Uh, at least it does for me. Don't know about everybody else. But I think it's a pretty nice green style fragrance from a house that doesn't get as much talk as some of these other houses. Uh, you can get these from Sephora.com now. Uh, I think they're carrying Eight and Bob on their website. Uh, all in all, really good scent. I don't know where you can get it discounted from. Uh, I will list some discounters in the description, but this one, I don't know if you can get it discounted. I'm not sure who all carries it in the States right now, but it's a phenomenal fragrance. If you can get a discovery kit, I think they're like $25, $30. Definitely worth trying out. The uh, offer is from Eight and Bob. Number five is from a small indie niche house out of New York City. It's going to come from Kieran NYC, and this one is 10 a.m. Flirt. Love the artwork on the bottle. Love that scent. Uh, this really comes across as like a really good, uh, cool to warm day type of fragrance. Like just a relaxing, calm, chill day. Maybe you're going to have lunch or brunch or something on a patio. This is perfect for that. It smells incredible. If you like fig leaf, this is the one for you. You get citrus and you get fig leaf. There's a third note in there that I can't remember what it is, but I don't really pick it up. What I pick up is citrus and fig leaf, and it's a great combination. You can just smell the oils in this thing as well, pretty much like all of these, and you're gonna smell quite a bit uh, difference, like in a good way, from your designer fragrances. These smell really good. They smell a little bit more natural. And Karen NYC, I think it's like a cruelty-free, they're vegan, they have all that cool stuff, they recycle, I think the boxes are made from like recyclable uh, cardboard, so if you're into that, uh, it's a great company to support. Uh, and 10 a.m. is, 10 a.m. Flirt, it's just an incredible fragrance uh, for someone who likes green scents. Ah, oh, man, that fig leaf really like tickles my fancy a little bit. Number six is from a house that I absolutely fell in love with in 2021. And by like fell in love with, like I bought my first fragrance from them after sampling it in a boutique. And then I proceeded to blind buy other fragrances and they're not cheap. Absolutely love the house. It's BDK Parfums and it's Citrus Riviera. I thought having a good citrus like this in the video is going to be great for like the warmer days in spring. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're like going to the lake, going to the beach, just maybe playing golf. I don't know. But those warmer days... Good citrus fragrances uh, shine really well. Oh, man, Citrus Riviera from BDK is absolutely incredible. One of my favorite citrus fragrances. One of the best, I think, that you can pick up. With this one, you're going to get Neroli. You're going to get Mandarin, Fig. I think there's Strawberry in here in the heart. It just smells really good. The way the fruits mix with the Neroli is... is it's perfection. It's done to perfection. No, these are not cheap, but you can find them on discounters. Um, can't remember what I paid for this, but it was worth every penny. I would have paid double for this fragrance. This thing smells absolutely incredible. If you're looking for just like that one bomb citrus fragrance for your collection, Citrus Riviera could fit that spot. Number seven is from another house that I absolutely fell in love with in 2021. Uh, this house, uh, has been around in the form of a luxury cognac company in France since like 1270. Uh, they started making fragrances here, I think in the 21st century. 
this fragrance is Isle of Man. And you can see the really cool like artwork design or whatever on the back of that. The caps are made from the same wood that they use to age their cognac. <sighs> Another good citrus fragrance. This is citrus, but it's going to be different from Citrus Riviera. You're going to have, I think, bergamot, grapefruit. You will have uh, you'll have basil in this one, as well as vetiver. So, where Citrus Riviera doesn't have like that green herbaceousness, this does. It also has that vetiver. So you're getting you're getting a really nice play on citrus mixed with an herbaceousness, a little bit of an earthy woodiness from the vetiver. And it smells absolutely incredible. Great fragrance if you're like wanting to suit up, wear it to an office, or even any type of formal event in the spring. Uh, this one just crushes it. Again, I haven't owned this for very long. And that's why you see a good big like juice level in there. Uh, I just discovered the house last year for myself. And uh, for Pond's one of those houses that I, like I said, I fell in love with. I've started ordering a bunch of their stuff. And I have worn this a couple of times. And I've worn it enough to know uh, that I really love it, and you know, I love it for the spring. Number eight is going to come from uh, a house that you can find in Neiman Marcus. This is going to be from House of Siage, and it is from their Gentleman line. It's the Contemporary. Love that little click, the uh, the button. So you have this little encasement or whatever that protects your atomizer. You push the little button right here, and there's your atomizer. Really nice atomizer. With this fragrance, I think this is, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a blue style scent, but it's going to be what, like the closest you can get to maybe a blue style scent um, that's on this list anyway. But it's not, I don't think it's really like exactly blue. What you get, you get sage, you get some plum, you get some amber in here. It smells incredible. Kind of reminds you of those blue style scents. I think the plum is done extremely well. It's one that you can really wear, I think, year round. Um, kind of like a blue style fragrance but I really like it for the spring I like it for the warmer weather uh, just because not summer but spring because I think maybe high heat it might be a little bit too much with that amber and that plum but you know as you're starting to warm up perfect time to wear the contemporary from House of Siage great fragrance uh, these are a little bit pricey but go check them out like on Instagram or whatever they're always running a 50% off sale that's how I got this in fact I bought all the uh, gentlemen line around the holidays because they had it all for half off so I went ahead and hauled in all of them another house that I really enjoy quite a bit you've seen another fragrance from this house on a few of my videos it's gonna be another Spanish house Wow I have two from a Spanish house. From It's going to be from Daniel Hosier. It's going to be Vetiver. So here's your bottle. I got a 50 mil. There's your label. Uh, Daniel Hosier, like I said, Spanish fragrance house. And my first en like a encounter or experience with this house was green leather, which I absolutely love. But for spring, Vetiver smells really good. Really good. So what you get in here, you get some bergamot, you get some grapefruit, you get uh, vetiver, of course, and you get a little bit of oak moss. So you are getting those citruses, that citrus combination, but mixing up with that woody style vetiver and that touch of mossy green from the oak moss. Smells great. I know I have a whole lot of citruses on this list, but I don't know. For some reason this spring, that's what I'm really looking forward to wearing. And vetiver, um, I think it's just a classy type of scent. You can dress up. You can dress down. You can, I don't know, wear it without clothes. I don't know. But it smells really, really good. I think it works in pretty much every situation, especially once the weather starts like cooking up into the 70s and the 80s. Uh, you can wear this on into the summer as well. Just an absolutely beautiful uh, vetiver citrus combination. Okay, and last but not least, this is one that I recently acquired. I wore it out of the shower a few times because it's been kind of cool to wear it like during the daytime. So I have worn it a little bit, but not a whole lot. I do know that the performance isn't the best, um, but I got it on Max Aroma on like a hot deal for like 50 bucks. And it's from Aqua de Parma, one of my favorite Italian fragrance houses. One of the house, uh, one of my favorite houses that creates citrus uh, fragrances. And this one is going to be Colonia Futura. 
came out in 2020. Um, I remember seeing this thing pop up on Instagram when it first came out, and I really wanted it, but I didn't want to spend, I think it was like one or two hundred dollars. I waited and waited and I waited. I got it for 50 bucks. Big burst on the atomizer. Smells absolutely great. If you like Colonia, if you like those Italian bergamot type of scents, you're going to dig this one quite a bit. You get your bergamot, you get your lemon, you get grapefruit. Also, lavender and vetiver. Citrus and vetiver is like a, I guess like a trending theme with this list. But I just really love citrus. I really love vetiver. With this, you get that combination of all those fruits, but you get a combination of all these citruses, but the one that really stands out to me is that tart bergamot mixing with a relaxing smooth lavender resting on a nice kind of earthy woody slash earthy vetiver smells absolutely phenomenal this one i would futura i would say is going to be more of a uh, casual scent as well uh maybe you're not like totally dressed down but casually dressed uh, you know, doing some daytime events or whatever. Uh, just a phenomenal scent. Really love Aqua de Parma. That house creates some great uh, citruses. No, they don't last super long times. They're eau de, I think eau de cologne concentrations, but they smell really good. And if you can get them on like hot deals, like on a Max Aroma, I mean, just carry it with you and spray all day. Uh, because it, it's worth it. I think it's worth it anyway. But I would definitely try it before you buy it. I would try any of these before you buy them. But uh, these are some options you can, I don't know, try out before you buy and see if you like them. All right, I do appreciate you watching the video. Please do like, comment, subscribe, share, um, whatever else I'm supposed to tell you guys to do. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you.